Hi everyone, I'm Roy Webster. And I'm Dale Stevenson and welcome to the first episode of VIS TV. VIS TV is an initiative set up by the Victorian Institute of Sport and it is designed to follow the lives of athletes um, and their blood, sweat and tears leading into the Olympic Games in 2012. As part of this story we're going to start off with at the annual awards evening and we're here tonight to see what happens behind the scenes at the, as all the athletes get together to celebrate our year. I don't know about you, Dale, but I'm very excited to see uh, the glitz and the glamour here at Clown, Crown Palladium. I'm pretty pumped as well. We're used to seeing each other dressed up, you know, in very different clothes, sweating it out in the gym, so I'm keen to see everyone frocked up. Absolutely. Lee, swimming program manager from the Victorian Institute of Sport. Lee, no tie tonight. Unless it specifically says tie on the invitation, not wearing one. Lounge suit, I think, was the uh, the word. Well, you've got and, the suit um, part right. Yes, correct. Would it be okay to take my tie off? Oh, definitely, definitely. And throw it around the head, or even maybe a bit of um, Carson queer eye, wear it as a belt. Yeah. I've seen that happening. I'm down with that. Well, I've been told to put my beer away, but we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for the chat, Anything Lee. Anything can happen. Michael Crooks, a.k.a. Crooksy, the master of strength and conditioning here at the VIS. Crooksy, will there be blood alcohol readings in the gym in the morning? No, but compulsory interval sessions to sweat everything out, so uh, be careful tonight, kids. It's on for young and old, first thing. You heard it, guys. The beep test will be coming. All right, we're here with two of Australia's premier distance runners, or middle distance runners, I should yeah. say, Jeff Risley and Geordie Williams. How are you, boys? Yeah, good. Yourself? Really good. It's great to be here tonight, and both looking fantastic in grey, I must say. Now, can I ask who dressed you? Uh, my mum. Your <laughs> mum dressed you. Did she iron your shirt? No, nah, she didn't iron my shirt, but she, like, nuggeted my shoes. <laughs> she nuggeted your shoes. There's yeah, a line for you. A bit, uh weren't looking the best. So. Uh, and Geordie got the double earrings look tonight? Yep. Uh, yeah, Jeff commented on that as soon as he picked me up. Um, First thing I noticed, I thought yeah. they were reserved for girls, double earrings. Nah. And is, uh, is, who did your hair tonight? Uh, I did. Uh, unlike, Jeff, unlike Jeffrey, I uh, dressed myself. So. Yeah. And boys, can I ask, how far away from a run are you? Um, well, I continued late into September, end of September, so I had hernia surgery and just started running again probably, I've uh, probably been going four weeks. So you're a little while away from a race then? Yeah, I'm probably five kilos overweight, <laughs> training with the girls at the moment. but uh, Only five? Yeah, only five. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordy? Um, I'm almost good to go. I've been training up at Falls last couple of weeks and my first race will be Zatapec, so see how that goes. Beautiful. Zatapak, 10th of December, new park at Albert, a new track at Albert Park. Looking forward to it. Thanks for the chat, boys. Hello, team. Jared, how long has it been since you washed your hair? Uh, I actually just got out of the shower, so I tried. Did you wash it for tonight? Yeah, I washed my hair tonight for the like, first time in a week or so. I've noticed you've, uh, you're going with the Movember theme. Daniel, where's yours? I had to give up. It was just disgusting. <laughs> I was getting told off by everyone. So he had bum fluff, obviously. Jared, what about yours? How long have you been growing your mo for? Yeah, I, I started a little bit earlier than November, but it doesn't hasn't really helped me. Still struggling a little bit. We're here with uh, Christian, our archerist. Is that what you, you yeah. call it? Yeah. Yep, you're looking very nice tonight. Who dressed you? Myself. Himself. You're <laughs> quite nice. Got the black tie going. Excellent. So, is this your first VIS Awards night? Yes, I'm so excited. It's like there's so many amazing, famous people like right in front of me. I'm very psyched. Yeah. Who do you reckon's gonna win? Cadell Evans. We are here with Regan, the pianist, and Regan, fantastic to have you here tonight. What's your official title? Uh, entertainment. <laughs> entertainment. And did you get a free meal out of this? Yeah, we got entrees and mains coming out at the same time. We're pretty hungry, us entertainers. Only entrees and mains. I was informed by the invite that it was a three-course meal. No desserts for the entertainers. We are only the entertainment, mate. That's it. <laughs> well, mate, it's great to have you here tonight. To playing. Here. It's going to be a great night. Shedding some dulcet tunes across the Crown Palladium. Keep it up and uh, people in the mood. get people in the mood, lubing up a little bit. Have a good night, mate. Good on you. Cheers. Lisa, 
I'm just going to say S because how do you pronounce your last name, Lisa? Shat Schneider, Rowie Webster. You should know that by now. Shat Schneider. Mm. Don't ask me to spell it. So you're looking very formal with your glasses and your clipboard. Is this a persona you are you're just trying to make up for because you do no work at the VIS? <laughs> I always wear my glasses, Rowie. The clipboard is an accessory because I forgot my handbag tonight. So I'm just I'm a little bit disappointed that it's a green clipboard. I would have liked maybe navy blue or a cream or an off-white colour, but green and blue should never be seen. So for next year we need to make sure that whatever frock Lisa's wearing we need to match the clipboard. Lisa you're looking very stunning tonight. Who are you wearing? Cook Eye. Cook Eye. It is a, a, it's a far stretch away from the grey track suit that you were wearing to work today so that's just that's just putting a little uh, persona on what we do at the VIS. Track suit. I feel like if I wear a tracksuit, it was a busy day today, I had to get a lot done. Tracksuit and runners, it was the best way to get from A to B the fastest possible time. Yeah. And are these glasses uh, serving a purpose or are they purely to look academic? Um, they're just clear lens, they're, they don't help me at all. Excellent. Dale, how are you going over there, mate? Would you girls just shut up? <laughs> We're here with Ian Cohen. No, no, you're holding it all wrong, okay? <laughs> what you want to be doing is make sure the logo's to the front so you get the VIS TV. What's this called, Ian? Yeah. What's, this, what's the name That's for this? Called, it's called a block cube. No, it's not. I was told it's called a flag. Oh, well, there you go. Well, you're listening to the Americans. That's what they call it. <laughs> well, you know, bigger market over there. No big deal. Now, Ian Cohen. How are you, Meg? Boys going, by the way? Uh, fantastic. Grand final this year. You know, yeah. premiership last year. We're doing all right. Doing okay. Good. And uh, what else is news in the wonderful world of sport? Oh, plenty on at the moment, obviously. Golf leading into the cricket. We've got lots going on. And then we wait for uh, the athletic season to get underway. I was down at the Ath track the other day, actually. My little bloke went around in the uh, six-year-old group down there, down at Albert Park. So the blue track's looking good. PB? Uh, he's yet to be really be setting PBs, I think. Any time's a good time at the moment. What, what was his, what's his pet distance? 60-metre you know sprint? He actually thinks he's Mitchell Watt. He That's wants the long, long jump. jump. Everything's a long jump. Everything's a runway, and I got to jump. I got to jump in the sand. Uh, it's all fun and games at that age, which is fantastic. Great to have you here, Ian. And uh, again, thanks for all your support with the athletic season. Can the pies? Now, hey, on how's your training going? I'm going to interview you. You're going okay? Uh, really well. Looking forward to it. And uh, thanks for complimenting me on my dress as well. Uh, you, you did say before that I'm looking slender and ready to throw fast. So I did say that yeah. before, and you still owe me fifty bucks. <laughs> thanks, Ian. Join us in 2012 as we take you behind the scenes of the VIS, giving you a glimpse of an athlete's life in an Olympic year. We'll check in with sports science, we'll follow them in the gym, in the pool and out on the track. Join us on the road to London. It starts here at VIS TV. Tonight is all about inspiration and what better way to be inspired than to share the room with champion athletes who represent their country all over the world in a variety of world-class competition. Nominations for the two times UVIS Youth Award. Georgia Rose Brown, Gymnastics. Jack Cummings and Alex Morgan, Cycling. Annabelle Smith, Diving. Jet Cummings and Alex Morgan. I'd just like to thank uh, Dave Sanders and Scott McGorry and the uh, the Ice uh, Cycling Squad for uh, everything they've done. And uh, it's just yeah, it's just been a great year. And yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you. Well, Alex, congratulations on receiving the uh, two times U Youth Award. How does it feel to win this award? Yeah, it's um, it's a great achievement, especially after the big year and everything. It's uh, good to be congratulated like this. It's, um, yeah, I'm really happy about it. Absolutely. And what's coming up for you in the next 12 months? Um, I've sort of got an easy period at the moment and then uh, I've got track and road worlds hopefully in August and September. So uh, just getting ready for that now. Nominations for the VIS Gatorade Spirit Award. Jack Lloyd, Athletics. Sherelle McMahon, Netball. 
and Marianne Moncton Gymnastics. And the winner is Marianne Moncton. So congratulations to Mary Ann. Um, she's not here, so any dirt that you want to dish on her because you are sharing, uh, you are her roomie. Is she clean? Does she clean up after herself? Anything you want to say about her? Nah, she's, she's great to live with. She's <laughs> fine, Everything, nothing wrong with her. Nominations for the Musashi VIS EAD Award. Kelly Cartwright, Athletics. Michael Gallagher, Cycling. And Jamie McDonald, Water Skiing. And the winner is Jamie McDonald. I just want to thank uh, the whole VIS uh, family, um, and in particular the uh, magnificent physiotherapists we've got, because I probably wouldn't have made it to these last worlds without them. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Well, Jamie, congratulations on your award. What does it mean to receive this award tonight? Um, it means a lot, actually, because it also confirms how much help I've received from the VIS with all the physios and everything. I wouldn't have been there otherwise, but uh, just a few years of being here, but uh, it's good to get something like this. And I, um, I noticed you mentioned that you um, came out of retirement for this one. Does it, is it a even more special award that you've, um, you've come back after achieving so much in your career? Um, yes, I've, I've actually tried to retire a couple of times and I just, I just can't stop, but it does, that you have to sort of stop and you can pick it all up again and yep. sort of keep going and again, that's with all the help from the VIS that I've been able to do that. Nominations for the William Anglis VIS Ace Award Lisa Jacobs in Cycling Katia Kremer in Skiing and Bianca Chatfield and Sharon McMahon Netball um, I'd just like to thank everyone at the VIS in particular the Ace program um, Bernadette and everyone a part of the team has been really great at um, helping me complete my university degree as well as skiing, um, you know, pretty much all year round. I don't spend much time there, so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy to have finished my degree finally. Also, thanks to Rod Warnicky from Melbourne Uni, who's also helped me um, complete my degree. And yeah, just to the whole support network that's helped me over the past few years. Thanks. The winners of the VIS Coaches Awards Taylor Danuccio, Aerial Skiing, Kelly Cartwright, Athletics, Shane Perkins, Cycling, Darcy Taylor, Diving, Nathan Holman, Golf, Ashley Brennan, Gymnastics, Danielle Marecki, Hockey, Stacia Joseph in Hockey, Madison Brown, Netball, David Webster, Rowing, James Sly and Tom Dwyer, Sailing, Matt Target, Swimming. The last one's Brendan Sexton, Triathlon and Rowy Webster in water polo. And what I'm up here tonight to talk about is the photo bombing competition. Now this is something that I know that Lisa and Mandy and their team do a fantastic job in promoting the VIS, but I reckon every athlete can get involved in promoting the VIS through the photo bombing. Now we've got a couple of examples, but we want to build it for next year, and it's the perfect sort of thing to be able to Twitter. You can have a bit of, you know, a bit of competition. Maybe get one sports section, taking on another, see where you can photo bomb, see what sort of icon you can stand in front of with a VIS top. The winner that gets five hundred dollars and a night's accommodation at the beautiful Crown Metropole is the last one we saw, which was all the swimmers and uh, Danielle Stefano, who actually took the photo, is here. Window. We were lucky enough to um, have a, uh, a viewing window at the pool um, in Sierra Nevada, so we were able to muck around and play around a bit. And the person who's supposed to be accepting this award is Ash Delaney, who came up with the idea of VIS. Um, but unfortunately, Ash couldn't make it tonight. So um, it was his idea. I was just the person behind the camera. The other thing I want to highlight is that this is the 21st year of the VIS. And uh, in my discussions with Anne-Marie and others of the board, I think the VIS has got a lot to celebrate. It's been highlighted by the fact that 18 VIS athletes have won individual or team world championships for Australia in 2011. These are the people that inspire Australians. In my role as Minister for Sport, I drive Peter, Dr Peter Hurton and all my staff that I want to see three things. I want to see more people, more active, more often. 
I want to get them away from the TVs. I want to get them away from the computer games. And athletes like we've seen on stage here today, you are the inspiration to the up-and-coming athletes of the future. So congratulations for those athletes that have won those individual or team awards. But I also know that many VIS athletes have featured on the podium in international, national and state events throughout 2011. So congratulations to the work you do. It's important we highlight it, as you know, that we are the sporting capital of Australia. Melbourne is the sporting capital of the world. But we've got great facilities, we've got very passionate supporters, but we want to make sure that we've got athletes to put into the stadiums or in the pools or on the hockey fields or wherever that may be. Tonight's finalists, so that that's what I'm up here for, for the 2011 Award for Excellence, represents the cream of the crop, and here they are. Nominations for the VIS Award of Excellence. Shane Perkins, Cycling. Cadell Evans, Cycling. Alex Chumpy Pollen, Snowboarding. It's the America's Cup. Have we seen Victorians come out in thousands, stay awake all night to celebrate this sporting achievement? Sport, as you know, has a power to bring people together. I believe this achievement was one of the greatest individual sporting achievements by Australian ever. So it gives me a great deal of pleasure to announce that Australia's first ever Tour de France winner, Cadell Evans, is the winner of the 2011 VOS Award of Excellence. Well, I think uh, there are very, very thousands, millions of Australians that were very tired throughout the month of July um, watching Cadell staying up late on SBS television winning the Tour de France. And, for me personally, as a, an, a former athlete that was actually there working with the media, the final four days of this year's Tour de France were most, so, I guess, some of the, the most exciting sporting days that I've ever witnessed. Biased, of course I am, but they were just an incredible final four days of the, of the Tour. Cadell, um, after the Tour, I spoke to him in uh, August in, in Colorado. I did an interview with Cadell, and he admitted for the first time who told me it was for the first time he'd actually said it in, you know, to, to a person with, working within the media, that after the, the second time he was the runner-up of the Tour de France in 2008, his team was starting to get a little bit um, disgruntled with him, didn't think he'd actually finally uh, win the Tour. And in December of that year, as he was starting to prepare for the 2009 season, the manager of his team actually told him he should give the bouquet to Contador already. He thought that there was no chance that Cadell could go on and win the Tour in 2009. Give it up now, you've already lost it. So that's, I guess, the, the mindset that he was going into the 2009 season, um, given to him by his team, that they had no trust and no faith with, in him. Yet, a couple of years later, he went on to do exactly what we saw earlier this year and win the Tour de France. So I guess it's, uh, it stands... Um, you know, it'll be a part of history now to see that Cadell Evans, as, as downtrodden as, as he had been by his team and his management within his old team, he was still able to really believe in himself um, and keep going forward and, and achieve, I uh, agree, Minister of Sport. It's just an incredible achievement for sporting history in, um, in Australia. So congratulations to Cadell, and uh, I'm sure he'd be very, very proud of this award. Thank you. It's been a fantastic success, Rowan. Yeah, and uh, the VIS has done quite well in the year of 2011. 18 world champions, that's not too bad, I reckon. 18 world champions, you heard it first here on VIS TV. Now, uh, Cadell Evans, what a great achievement uh, to get the, the biggest award that VIS you know, has. Um, what have you got to say about Cadell? Well, I think... As has been said many times, his performance is probably the greatest by an Australian athlete ever yeah. in any sport, and I would certainly concur with that. We are certainly glad to have him on VIS soil. So uh, thank you to Emery, and uh, hopefully we're going to have another successful year in 2012. Gold medal in water polo. Gold medal in water polo. Thank you very much for joining us. Over and out. VIS TV. Join us for more in this Olympic year.